This standard query language title comes with a number of working files. It doesn't come with a great deal of working files, but there are some in there. Each of them are broken down into separate chapters. So we can see in chapter one, there are three TXT files and then an SQL file. All of these contain some SQL, some standard query language. The basic select syntax TXT gives you the basic syntax TXT file. So a lot of them are text files, but you'll see them in use as we use them so you know when you need to look at them. The biggest section here, though, is the folder called databases. This contains the employee access database and then an access database employees final, which is any changes we've made during the title, which aren't too many, but there is an additional table. And then an important file, sample.zip. This is the zipped copy of the SQL Server database. So if you're going to install Microsoft SQL Server as part of this course, firstly, you'll need to go to chapter one, where it says link for SQL Server text. If we open that in Notepad. That gives you the link to download the free version of Microsoft SQL Server. So having installed that particular package, you would then need the actual database that we use. So that's the databases folder, sample.zip. This will need unzipping, obviously, and placing in a location that you know about, so you can then install it into Microsoft SQL Server. I'm just shortly going to run through the steps for installing this in Microsoft SQL Server just after we finish looking through the working files. So you'll find most of the other chapters contain TXT files, which are some of the SQL that we've been using. And you may even find the odd chapter, which has no working files in it whatsoever. So they are limited, but the ones that are there are useful. They're either SQL syntax or some sample SQL that you can then use by copying and pasting. The main section is the database that contains the access database and it contains the backup copy of the SQL Server database, but we now need to look at how to install your own SQL Server installation. So you've downloaded and installed Microsoft SQL Server and you've included the Management Studio as part of that installation. Here we are in the Management Studio and we're just going to run through the steps for installing the sample database. First step is to actually create a new database. So you right click the database section, new database. We can take all the defaults. Only thing we need to give this is a name. I'm going to call mine sample. That then creates the database from your sample database, which you may need to refresh the list. We then need to restore from the backup copy. So you right click, come down to tasks, restore database. This then opens up the restore database dialog box. And we need to move the source to a device. And then we need to browse for that device. So you need to know where you've put the backup copy. There's mine, sample.bac. OK, OK. That brings us back through to here. So the device is sample.bac. We're going to restore that over the top of sample. So that's the database you've just created. So you have to create a database and then restore this backup over the top of it effectively. In file, we just make sure that it's going to relocate all the files to the default folder for your installation. Then under options, if we choose to overwrite the existing database and close any existing connections, and then OK. Database sample restored successfully. OK. And there's our sample database in place with the tables that you can see as you work through the title. So our working files are broken down into folders. Databases are in the database folder. The access database needs no installation. You just need to have it on your machine. The SQL Server backup file does need an installation, and we need to run through the create a new database and then restore from that backup file to get that working on your local system.